Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new vlog, I think 21 this week or something like that. Um, today is Saturday, so I'm going to get set up now for a stream um, with Kyle, Paul, and Chris from the Great Brick Lab. We're going to talk about, I mean, you will have seen it already if you want to, but uh, we will have talked about or will be talking about um, running Bricklink Store as a business um, and kind of how you can make it successful and stuff, hopefully. Um, and uh, I don't know how I'm going to set it up yet, so I'm debating on that. I don't want to do the straight on shot of the wall. I think I want to do like a little bit of an angled shot, maybe something more like this and we're in the middle of the frame. I don't know exactly yet, but we'll figure that out. Um, but yesterday what Paul did is he finished up um, the large plate categories. So there's a few bags um, here that have all the large plates. And I think now he just has to do like, there's a ton of uh, these plates here, like the two by four plates and smaller stuff like that. So I think that's what he, he is doing next. Um, obviously last week we added quite a few more lots. Um, but uh, it's still going to be a struggle to get to this goal. So if you don't remember our goal, 12,000 lots, 300,000 parts. I'm, I'm feeling we can hit the lot count. Not 100% sure about the part count, but that I feel is a little bit less important. Um, you know, I'm not going to go just buy 10 pick-a-brick cups just so we can hit that part count if those pieces are going to sit and never sell. So we're working towards that. But uh, yeah, goal for the end of September, 12,000 lots, 300,000 parts. I'm going to get set up for the stream, and uh, we'll see you guys after. Also, in uh, great news today, our second cart arrived, our second replacement cart arrived, so hopefully it's all in one piece and I'm going to build it now. Or actually, it comes in a few pieces, then I build it. But hopefully those pieces aren't broken. Hey everyone, it is Sunday, so guess what? The cart is perfect. Uh, so I built that cart um, on Saturday, yesterday, and then we have our second cart in the aisle, in case you didn't believe me that we had two carts. Um, but yeah, now we have a second cart, which is going to be absolutely great. Um, it's going to be really nice because we use these more often than I expected. So two carts, really, really awesome. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm making some more dividers. We have, um, I don't know, maybe 25 to 40, somewhere in there, probably 20, closer to 25 in that bin. There's 50 over there on the, uh, the box over there curing, and then there's another 50 on the build plate there. So I can, in theory, add up to a couple hundred lots today that are new. The downside is I have to number drawers first. So I'm going to number some drawers and then I'm going to add at least three categories and hopefully get our lot count. My goal today, uh, we're at 8,200 lots just about. Probably try to go to 84. Um, I, I think I'll try to do 200 new lots in the inventory, assuming we have enough drawers for that, which I think we will. I think we're okay on drawers, um, but we have more drawers coming. We're going to have to start putting them on that wall. That'll be something in the next week or so that we start to figure out. But that obviously involves taking the desk apart, putting the desk... It, it's a whole process. So I'm going to just uh, continue filling up our wall currently and then uh, hopefully hit uh, 8,400 lots today or at least very close to that. Okay, so I finished uploading a few hundred parts uh, or a few thousand individual pieces, but uh, over 200 brand new lots, but I realized we were about 8,000 lots. So now we're at 8,300 something. Um, so I added 250 lots or so, and you can see... For the most part, I have those drawers that I labeled that are for those empty slots there and a few sporadic ones around the wall, but that's all we have left for the small drawers. So tomorrow we have, we actually have like 13 or 14 orders to pack tomorrow at the, at the, at least uh, right now. So that should free up some drawers or at least some half drawers and stuff that we can fill up. But um, that'll get packed tomorrow and then we'll see how many more lots we can add after that. But I imagine once we hit about 8,500 lots, uh, maybe 8,600, that'll be kind of where we're stuck at on this wall, unless we utilize the big drawers, but I don't know that it's worth utilizing half of a big drawer for only a few pieces, like quantity-wise, but that might be the way to go um, soon. Potentially what we might want to do is go find drawers, like maybe this one, yeah, like this one, where we could fill up half of a big drawer with it, and then we could use this one for two smaller pieces. That might not be a terrible idea, so we'll see what we end up doing with that, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it pretty much for Sunday, and then uh, Paul will be in tomorrow to catalog, and we'll have our contractor in to come pack orders tomorrow morning, and hopefully free up a lot more drawers so we can add more parts. Hello and good morning everybody. Today is Tuesday. I know I was not with you guys yesterday, but I actually wasn't in the store yesterday. I took the day off, but today I am in the store, and uh, I am cataloging. I got to make up for yesterday because that wasn't actually my day off, but... Um, order still got packed because we have our contractor, so don't worry about that if you would place an order. But today I am cataloging. We just got a bin back from our new sorter, uh, who is the same person who is packing our orders. So that is fantastic. Uh, I believe that this is it uh, right here. 
yeah, looks like. So uh, that is fantastic, but that's not exactly what I'm going to be working on today. Uh, somewhere floating around in this garage is, ah, yes, here we are, the remainder of the uh, large plates category. Um, as you can see, there is, well, these aren't really large plates. I think this category should be broken up. I might have already said that last week, but I'll say it again. I think that this, this, and these kinds of things are, uh, are not the same category, so maybe we'll make an adjustment. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try and work through all this today. We'll see if I work through this. I, I think I can, but uh, we'll see. All right, so I've gone ahead and downsorted the downsorted category by, uh, by element here. So I've got my 1x4s and everything else, and then this is just the, the miscellaneous stuff that I'll do as its own thing. But... Um, yeah, this category was just too big for me to sit there and, like, pull stuff out. So, I mean, even then, this is still, you know, a lot. But, uh, I mean, these are big pieces, so it's not going to be that bad. But, uh, yeah, this is this is quite big. But uh, I really don't think it's going to take that long. These pieces are really easy to do. Um, and, I mean, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and then whatever this is, you know, um, elements here so I basically just need to quality check and then go down the color wheel for each one so I can't imagine this taking very long but I'm gonna go ahead and get started now and uh, I'm actually gonna time myself because I'm curious how long this is gonna take but uh, yeah I'll see you at the end hey everyone welcome to Wednesday night um, I wasn't in on Monday or Tuesday uh, Paul and Kyle were both in today and neither of them shot a vlog so Paul did more cataloging as always, that's kind of what he does. He packed orders and stuff as well today. And then Kyle actually, so to an extent, we had kind of forgotten that uh, City Gardens here hadn't been uploaded. Um, it was sitting in a bin, and the bin, the label was facing the other way, I think, and it was like underneath a pile of other bins that were sorted categories of used that had already been sorted by a contractor. So I think I, all of us had probably just assumed that whatever was in that pile was all the same stuff. So... Yeah, uh, Kyle came in and worked on uh, Ninjago City Gardens, and that's kind of his task now. I think he's going to work on finishing that up over the next couple of days um, or, or day or so or whatever and get that uploaded. But he got through a decent amount of it today, and then he's going to keep working on it, he said, tomorrow. So uh, that's what he worked on today, Paul cataloged and stuff. And then I am now going to just add some more used parts. So um, I've already begun uh, with the things Paul cataloged yesterday. These are the 1x4 and 1x6 plates. Um, adding quite a bit quantity here, which is nice. We're adding 590 parts. Um, just in this bag alone, in th there are 27 different lots, um, which is great. Uh, so um, hopefully we can get up to 200,000 pieces in the next uh, couple days or so, unless we have a ton of big orders and stuff. Um, but we're just under 8,400 lots, um, so that's really good as well. But like I said, we're completely out of drawers pretty much, so we're going to be hovering around 84, 8,500 until we get some more drawers up on the other wall over here, which is going to delay that goal of 12,000 lots, 300,000 parts, which will not be good. But... Um, yeah, we'll figure something out over here. I'm not entirely sure what yet, but we need to figure it out soon. So after this week, I'm done working full-time outside of here. I'm working 60 hours a week outside of here right now, um, or more, depending what it, what week it is. Um, so once August comes around, the first week of August is the last couple days I have, and then, um, then I'm totally back in here for the remainder of August, which is exciting. So, um, yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, I'm just babbling now. I'm going to work on uploading some used parts. If I do anything else, I'll let you know. If not, hopefully Paul sees you tomorrow in the vlog on, what is tomorrow? Thursday. Alrighty, so I have finally uh, just finished the last of the uh, um, plates. So that is fantastic. Um, there's still this to go, but this is kind of a different category, so I'm going to count it separately. Um, unfortunately, I had said I was going to time myself, but uh, I accidentally uh, left it running when I clocked out uh, the other day, so it's at like forty something hours. So you know that's not exactly uh, not exactly useful. But I think it probably took me uh, I don't know five hours to catalog all that. Probably between five and six hours. So um, I, I think definitely uh, definitely getting faster on that. So. Um, Oh, I might have just made the camera out of focus. Hopefully not. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's... 
uh, been fantastic. I'm now going to get started on the other category because uh, I want to do some more BSXs and obviously catalog some more. I only just clocked in. But yeah, I'm going to get started on that and then I'm going to pack some orders. Hey everyone, it is Saturday. Um, Paul and I are in the store today. Um, we have officially, and I can't remember if I mentioned this or if, if maybe Kyle mentioned it, but we're totally out of drawers. So, being that we're completely out of drawers now, um, but I did order four replacement drawers. Unfortunately, those four drawers were messed up. Um, so, uh, four replacement drawers on from a seller on eBay I found, actually. Um, not an official thing, but... Uh, yeah, four replacement drawers are coming, and then we'll have just the right amount of drawers. Um, but we do have some Acro Mills units here in a box. I'm sure I've already showed this, but got eight of them there. Paul and I are working to clear out this area here, kind of in this side of the store, so that we're able to start mounting drawers to this wall as well. That's the plan, so the new pick path will be to come down this way through the center, and then you're going to turn this corner, and then you'll pick on the right side here, and then we're going to go think down this wall and we'll have like another aisle potentially um, so we're kind of figuring all that stuff out right now we're also trying to clean up the bin area so we've cleaned up a lot of what the used was here you can see there's a lot more floor space which is kind of nice um, and then we're going to work on cleaning up these bins and stuff here try to get the instructions a better home and all that kind of stuff so that's what we're doing today um, so it should be a pretty fun day and hopefully there's some progress made so we can uh, continue adding to our lot count hey how's it going guys today is tuesday uh, I'm in the store. Things are mostly back to normal now. Uh, Evan's not in right now, uh, but uh, he is back in the store and done with workshop. Uh, so uh, we're here. Well, he's not. I am, but he will be here. And uh, I'm about to start packing orders. There's only two so far today, but I want to get it done. And then uh, now that he's here, I really have to step up my cataloging game because uh, he's going to be competing to empty that bin. We have kind of a contest going where I am trying to fill up the bin before he can empty it, and uh, we're going to see if I can do that. It's about three-fourths full right now, so uh, I'm really going to try and push that and uh, get it done. But uh, I will uh, see you guys probably when I'm done packing orders and catch up with that. All right, so I've finished packing orders. Uh, there were only two today, but uh, I'm now going to get started on working through this. So kind of my goal... Uh, I, I just finished a category the other day, the, um, uh, which category is it? The, um, kind of angled plates, um, I think, I think they're called wedges, technically. But anyway, I finished that yesterday, which brings me to the end of the plates category, at least the large plates category. I think there might still be one buys somewhere, but the large plates are all done. So now, instead of starting a brand new category, I have some backlog of just stuff that has been accumulating. Uh, from either the wrong category uh, or minifig parts, which I hate, because um, a lot of stuff like this doesn't have part numbers on them, um, which really sucks, especially like the hair pieces. But I did all the hair yesterday, although it looks like there's a hat in here, but that shouldn't be too hard. But I did all the hair pieces yesterday, so now it should just be this stuff, uh, which hopefully will have numbers on it, and if not, I'll still work through it. And then after that, we have some wonderful uh, nostalgic relics, excuse my smoothie cup, uh, over here that uh, we found in a bin that we uh, kind of need to make space in. Um, this, if you, if you are a very old fan of our channel uh, and remember our uh, 1,000 subscriber stream and you were there for that, uh, Evan and I, Evan, Kyle and I had a challenge where we had to build a set uh, without seeing, without uh, using the instructions. We just had, I think it was a couple seconds to look at the photo, and then we had to try and build it. Um, and uh, they did not turn out well. I don't know if any of them are actually intact here. Um, ah, yes, one of them is kind of intact. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can get it out here. Yes, somewhat of a pig here. Um, but uh, they did not turn out well, and part of my goal today uh, is to uh, go ahead. Wow, yeah, this is this is kind of what uh, what it turned out as, um, quite cursed. But uh, we are going. I'm going to go ahead and break these down, part them out, put them in our store, uh, along with all of these other random parts in here. Um, there's tons of stuff, so these will all find homes in the store, uh, and that should clear up some room. And then maybe I will get started on our uh, family-friendly what-the-frick cup. 
Um, I don't think it has good. It doesn't have a label on it. It's the uh, what the frick cup, and uh, we're going to. A lot of these things are actually in the inventory somewhere. Um, these are pieces that get found on the floor, um, or uh, behind drawers um, and stuff like that, and they kind of just stack up here. So I'm gonna start working through this. Maybe it's it's a horrible chore. We don't actually do it in one go. We kind of pull out a bag and start and uh, go as far as we can. But uh, I'm going to try and work through that. So, yeah, I'll get started with those minifig parts, and then I'll let you know when I start on these. Hey, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. Yeah, it's Wednesday morning. I am in the store today. I'm going to pack orders and all that kind of stuff. But I'm also going to work on getting up our drawers on the wall. So I've kind of been working on it. I went to, uh, I got all the wooden stuff we need. We're going to mount the slats across the wall. We can mount the drawers up on there. Finished mounting two more Skyline sets. So that's Dubai up there and Tokyo over there, which were not mounted. They've been sitting on the counter, taking up room for a very long time. I just never got around to mounting them. So those are up now. Um, and people have asked, but these are at a height where we can still mount the drawers and we can still have drawers up top um, above the mounted drawers and we won't lose... Um, uh, it's not going to hit those or anything. Um, so we thought about that because this, eventually this whole wall and this up until pretty much the computer will be drawer units and then probably another floating aisle wall right down the center here. So we'll have two kind of sections where we have pieces. Um, and that'll be pretty close to what we can cram in here. We could potentially, if we need to, build another aisle right there, um, kind of in the middle here. But That'd make it very difficult to work, but if we need to get there, obviously, before we go to a warehouse, that'll be the case. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to work on today. I'm going to work on getting the drawers. I'm also cleaning stuff up. Um, we got some more resin, so I have to print more dividers today because we are totally out of dividers and drawers. I mean, we have a few more drawers up there and a few dividers, but um, I think I can print. I, I somehow got five bottles of resin. I only paid for, for two, I thought. Maybe, maybe not. I'll look that up. But um, with each bottle of resin we can print 250 dividers. So I can print another 1,000 dividers, um, which is great, um, and then mount all those drawers, and we should be good. So that's what my plan is today. If I do anything else, I'll update you. Hopefully today I'll also be able to add some parts and stuff in the store, but we will see. Um, and yeah, that's uh, this is Wednesday morning. I'll probably catch up with you later in the afternoon. Okay, so we have the, uh, the cross beams now mounted on the wall. Um, I do need to put one more at the bottom. It'll be this uh, one by two right there, just so it's not like leaning against the wall tipping. Um, so it'll be flat when it touches the bottom, but those are the four. I will have to also over here, just barely, like literally like a three inch piece. I'll have to extend each of them um, just so we can get the drawers to the wall, minus seven and a quarter inches or seven and a half inches where the other drawers are gonna go on this wall. So there'll be a gap in the corner and then they'll kind of butt up so you can still pull the drawers open and stuff, but just a tiny, tiny piece there. So that's what those extra one by twos were for. I clearly miscalculated. I only need one, I guess, or not one by twos, one by threes, whatever these are. Um, but yeah, this is uh, all the slats are up. Um, also next, we're gonna have to add some lighting up there cause it's a little darker in this area, but uh, slats are up. Now I'm going to put on the drawers. We only have eight though, but yeah, I'll show you in a second. And there we have it, eight units on the wall. You can see we're only going four high. We're not doing five like we did over there. Definitely was a mistake. Uh, four right here is perfect. And you can see we're doing all small units for this wall. So this whole wall will be the 64 count units. And then we'll see what we do on this one. Not entirely sure yet, but for now, this one is all the 64 count um, just because that's what uh, we're using a ton of right now. So we'll, we'll reassess when we get more, but uh, we can fit 12 more units over there. Um, and then obviously those two columns there. So this now gives us what, uh, 64 times eight, and then technically kind of multiply that by two because you can fit two lots per drawer most of the time. So what is that, like a thousand drawers almost? Um, pretty good, I think. So not terribly bad or a thousand new lots we can add here. So 1,000, 2,000, 2,500 maybe can fit on this wall, uh, possibly, hopefully, <laughs> um, and that will get us to about 11,000 parts, or sorry, 11,000 lots, and then when we figure out this wall, that'll get us to 12,000 lots, um, so that's going to be it for today, I will be done, um, but yeah, there we go, the drawers are up, and tomorrow I might work on the lights. All right, guys, so it is Thursday today, and uh, I'm finishing up with uh, these kind of leftover bits that we have that we found um, that are from, well, I told you guys yesterday, you know what it's from, 
but uh, I've got one BSX done of this, and now I'm just going to work through this. Um, Evan is continuing to put up the uh, drawers over there, and I believe right now he's currently packing orders, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, done with this, and then we'll jump over to something else. All right, so uh, I just did the uh, Looney uh, Tunes blind bags, as you can see right there. Um, and now you might notice that all of the instructions are here. Uh, one of the few instructions that seems to sell are actually these little blind bag packet instructions. So we are uploading all of them, which is quite rare for us if you've been following the channel for a while. But uh, yeah, I basically just put these in here, and uh, then Evan's going to add them um, when he gets to them today or another time. So uh, they're just going in there with the rest of it, and I'm going to move on to something else. Uh, I want to try and tackle the uh, uh, safe for work bin over here, um, the uh, what the frick cup, but uh, I'm uh, I'm a little skeptical of it because this doesn't just involve uploading; it also involves checking to see if they're in the inventory in the first place, um, which is a bit rough. But uh, I'm really trying to this week. My goal has been to work through a lot of the backlog, and I've gotten rid of the boxes of just random Legos and a couple other things, so I guess now uh, I have to stop procrastinating and upload these. Okay, hello everyone, it's Evan now behind the camera, but um, I have just added about 200 lots today to the store, which is pretty good, which means we're at our highest lot count, I think, maybe not, 84, 64 there, that might be the highest ever, it might not be. This is all the drawers we have left for the normal portion of the store. I'm currently printing some more dividers because we were out of dividers again. Um, but uh, once those are done, I'm going to uh, add some more parts to the store because, I, like you saw, I don't know, two minutes ago or less, those drawers are all up. So what I'm going to do is start numbering some of these drawers. I actually think I have to print out the numbers. Um, and then I'm going to start numbering these drawers now. The intention at some point is to have another wall right here, kind of like this one, how it floats. It'll have to be slightly smaller than that one, but it'll float here as well in the middle. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is, you know, over here we pick left, right, left, right, left, right. So we go here, and you know how to do it. And then, so my thought is over here, if this is our little aisle, I need to start right here, and then here, and then here, and then here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is skip a ton of numbers, um, and then I can start numbering those, skip a whole other column, then I can number those. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to figure out what math, or what drawers we want to put on this wall that will eventually be here in order to not have to move all the drawers around. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I am going to print out some labels and then start numbering those drawers so that we have more to add stuff to because we're currently out. But Paul's done a really good job of filling up this bin. Um, he just did this Looney Tunes thing. I think he just filmed it. But, uh... Lots and lots of pieces to, or definitely some more lots to add to the store, but we're getting our piece count up too, which is definitely nice. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, happy Friday, I guess. And uh, today I have something very exciting. I've already shipped orders, but Evan and I are about to do something that we have not done in a while, which is film a part out party. So down here, we, uh, we actually have two sets that uh, are going to be parted out here. We have the uh, Star Wars, um, I believe it's a Sith, yeah, Sith TIE Fighter, uh, 75272, uh, as you can see there. And then underneath that, we have the uh, Spring Lantern Festival, uh, 80107. And uh, this one comes with a ton of minifigs, so these should both be great to part out. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, part these out today. So it'll actually be two part out parties um, that we're just shooting back to back. I have no idea when they're going to come out, but... Uh, they'll come out at some point, and yeah, it's great because we haven't actually sat down and done anything like this in forever, so uh, it'll be a nice, uh, nice fun experience. But in order to uh, do the part out party, we have to number some drawers. So Paul has taken, what is that, 256, 512 drawers off the wall over there, and they're now here, and we are numbering. So I just printed out barcodes and labels for what I believe will be all the drawers that we will have in this garage, which is about 8,000. Um, but that might change, who knows. But I printed a ton of labels out, and then we just did a ton of math to figure out what exactly it is we're numbering or starting with, because our plan eventually is to have another floating wall here. So when we have that, when we come down our pick path here, we're going to pick from left to right, and then left to right. So we had to skip this column over here, 
go to this one, then we'll skip that one, then go to this one. So we're doing math, and now we uh, or did the math. Now we're numbering all the drawers, 512 drawers to number here, and then finally we'll have some more space to put more parts. Okay, so now that we have all the drawers numbered, we can actually start at a part out party. We're going to start with this one. You guys will get to see that video eventually, but uh, we'll catch up with you at the end of the day uh, to show you what our lock count and piece count is in the store. Alrighty, good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, and uh, I am in the store with uh, Evan over here. Oh, Evan over here. And uh, today, well, obviously, we're going to be streaming later, uh, and we don't ship on Saturday, so I am finally starting on the tire category. As you can see, there's a lot of tires. Uh, I've already disassembled them. Kind of basically what I'm doing is I am taking a tire. Uh, let me get one here. Basically like this, right? And I am using a cloth covered screwdriver because I don't want to scratch the pieces to pop out the center. Uh, and then they go in over here if they're, you know, the, the core uh, or down here if it is the tire. Um, for some reason, leaves also apparently go in this category, so we have leaves over here and then some other random stuff, but it's mostly tires, so um, that is what I'm working on. I've still got some more bags to go, um, but that's kind of my goal. The reason why I'm doing this is because we have a ton of big drawers uh, that need to be filled, and tires are probably going to fill up a lot of big drawers, so um, we're going to go ahead and use those. Okay, so what I'm continuing on today is City Garden. So this is stuff that was uh, parted out or sorted into color that Kyle was working on the past week. I'm going to continue picking up on it. So I'm going to do the dark turquoise first. And then uh, probably these three colors, or at least two of them, before the stream. We'll see if I can get to the, uh, the other colors here before the stream. I doubt it, though. But we're going to start with dark turquoise, see how far I get. Okay, so Paul and I just finished streaming with you guys. It was very fun. Um, I was continuing to work on city gardens since we hadn't been doing that for a while. Um, but you can see our aisle is really, really full. And we've started filling up this wall quite a bit. So I'll show you where we're at. We're working on uh, the column, first, this first column uh, here that we'll fill up. And then we'll get to these drawers here. But you can see it's already pretty full after just, what, a, I guess two days. Um, I have a few more drawers on the cart I have to put away, which is really good. We're at 8,007. No. Yeah, 8,700 <clears throat> something lots right now, like 204,000 pieces, which is great. Um, again, be really hard to hit that 300,000 piece goal, but that 12,000 lot goal, I'm actually feeling like we're probably gonna get there, which is super exciting. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on City Gardens, or I'm gonna put these away. It's now uh, 5.30 p.m. I've been in here since nine this morning, so uh, I'm kind of getting ready to go. So I'm probably gonna put these drawers away, clean up, gotta do some consolidation for a few things. And then I should hopefully be done by 6. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to be in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, we usually don't come in very much on Sunday. But I might. We will see. Um, and if I do, I will continue working on City Gardens. And that's that. Hello and good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, and I am in the store. Uh, Evan will probably be in later, and we've got our contractor coming in uh, later as well. But for now, I'm going to be cataloging. Uh, so, as you can see right here, I have the tire box that I started the other day. Well, this is actually the tire box. This is the uh, tire accessories uh, box. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this today. Um, my goal is to get this cataloged before I leave on a trip on Wednesday. So, I've got today and tomorrow to work through all this. And we'll see if I can do it. I'm hoping I can, but uh, it's still a lot. So... We'll see, but yep, that's what I'm about to do. Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday and my last day in the store for about a week. Uh, I'm going on vacation to visit my parents out in um, Idaho, I think, Glacier National Park. I don't know what state it's in. But anyway, I'm going out to visit them, uh, so that'll be nice. But here in the store today, I am trying to catalog as much as possible so that Evan can work through this um, I really want to get it full and even overflowing if I can, um, but there's a lot of stuff I need to do. I got to pack and stuff, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how much time I'm going to be in here, but my goal is just to focus through and get as much done as possible. I still need to work through some of the wheel category. Uh, I got through a ton of it the other day, um, but there's still this little section here 
um, and these, but they don't take as long as they look like. Um, and then I'm going to do my best to get through the tires. Uh, I think I'll probably be able to get through like half of them. I'm not sure. It depends how many lots there are. That's really the the struggle is is the lots rather than the amount. Uh, so the more lots, the slower it goes. Um, so yeah, that's basically my plan for today. I'm going to work through that and hopefully I can meet our goals so Evan can keep uh, working while I'm gone. And I will see you all. Well, Evan will see you throughout the duration of the week, but I will see you when I get back next Wednesday. So goodbye. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. Um, I was in here all day yesterday. I spent like 11 hours in here yesterday. I didn't film any of it though. Um, but uh, yesterday I added a lot more city gardens. I added like six different bags of used pieces. Um, what else did I do? I think I did some other stuff too. I know I did other stuff too, but I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna be doing very similar. I think I'm probably gonna spend eight, 10, maybe more hours in here. I'm going to hopefully finish up City Gardens, get that all in, and then add some more used here as well. Um, I want to get this bin empty by the time Paul is back. He gets back in like a week or more than a week. He just left this morning, so actually uh, that bin will be empty for sure. But um, yeah, lots to do um, after over the next couple days, probably after this vlog comes out. But once City Gardens is all done and all the used is in that Paul has cataloged, I'm going to go through. We have six bins here. Um, those six bottom bins are uh, all sorted pieces, and I'm going to go through and pull out all the brick categories and start cataloging and uploading bricks so we can get some quantity in the store, hopefully. Um, we're at, like, I'll show you the numbers at the end of today, but we're almost 9,000 lots and, like, almost 210,000 pieces, so we're working our way up to our goal. Okay, so here we are at the end of Wednesday. I'll show you what I kind of did today a little bit. Um, I added more of City Gardens, like I said I was going to, and then also... I went through, we actually had seven bins, and I sorted the bins. Uh, this was all used that was um, had been sorted already. So now I've sorted them into uh, each bin. So you can see this one has decorated parts. It has five bags of that, one bag of small plates. So each is labeled, and there's no duplicates, so there shouldn't be anything in there that is also in there. So when Paul goes to catalog these, or whoever goes to catalog these, can take a whole bin, and then uh, when they open the bin up, they can look and say, okay, there's one bag of small bricks. Or, for example, there are five bags of modified plates, so they have to find all five bags of modified plates, pull them out, and then catalog um, catalog them and build the BSX and stuff. And then, in theory, over time, obviously, once we run out of stuff in there, we can replenish it, and, uh, and it should be a, a nice cycle. But you can also see we've pretty much filled up this whole column here, except for those four drawers, or three drawers at the bottom. Those just haven't been used yet. Um, I've made some more things that have uh, are ready for contractors to take to sort more Lego. Also got a ton more piles of bags that all stick rubber bands on. And then I started, uh, I down sorted, and uh, which is what Paul calls it. I don't know when that really became a thing, but sorted all the bricks. Um, so we had a whole bin, which was that top one up there, completely packed with bricks, like uh, large bricks or our large brick category. So I sorted all that. Um, into the things and I just uploaded the two by two bricks. I'm gonna clock out today, but I'm timing it very carefully um, for the cataloging and sorting part. The sorting, all of it, this plus two by two bricks took just under an hour. And then to catalog the two by two bricks and upload it took about 35 minutes. So I'm just over an hour and a half right now um, into it. And I'm really curious because our first con uh, contractors who were catalogers did exactly what I'm doing now except they said it took them 25 hours. So I'm really trying to get a good gauge of how long this actually should take. I'm in the opinion it's gonna take me five hours for all of it. Bricks I think are one of the easiest categories, but I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out how it took them 25. But uh, yeah, that is it. So that's pretty much it for Wednesday. Um, I will be in again tomorrow and uh, I will see you then.